My name is Lauren and I'm here today with Summer Starts at EPL. And today we're going to talk about, you guessed it, bugs. <laughs> I am dressed like a cockroach and a cockroach is a type of insect. Now how do we know I am an insect? Well, I have a head, I have a thorax, I have an abdomen, and I have six legs. Oh, and I also have a pair of antennae to help me explore the world. And that's how you know I am an insect. Now, not all bugs are insects. There are other creatures that, that crawl and fly and share our world with us. And some of them have eight legs. Do you know what an eight-legged bug would be called? That's right, an arachnid. So today, we're going to show you three different buggy crafts that you can make at home. Um, there'll be a couple of insects, and then there will be an arachnid craft. So let's get started. So our first craft is going to be our clothespin caterpillar. For this craft, you're going to need a clothespin, some pom-poms, some glue, a pair of googly eyes. Now, if you don't have googly eyes, you can just draw your eyes onto the pom-pom. That's okay, too. To start, you're going to take your clothespin. Now, the front of your caterpillar is going to be the part of the clothespin that opens up. And I find the best way to get these pom-poms to stick is to add glue to the pom-pom and add a little bit of glue to the top of your clothespin. Scoop that up. And, just kind of, and then you just sort of smush it on there. You can count to maybe 15 or 20. And once you add all your pom-poms down the length of your clothespin, you'll have something that looks like this. I find it best to leave it to dry overnight just so to make sure that they really stick. And then at the very end, you can add on your googly eyes or you can draw on eyes with a marker. And then you've made yourself a clothespin caterpillar. And you can pin that to a tree or to your clothing. You've got a little bug friend. <laughs> okay, our next buggy craft is our little worm on a stick. So for this craft, you're going to need a pipe cleaner, a pom-pom, you can use a pair of googly eyes or again use a marker to draw eyes onto your pom-pom head and you're going to need a stick make sure that you find your stick outside somewhere that it's fallen on the ground don't take a stick off of a tree <laughs> now you're going to take your pipe cleaner and you're just going to wrap your pipe cleaner around your stick and you're going to leave a little bit at the end because you're going to need a little piece that you can glue your pom-pom head to and the same thing that we did with our clothespin caterpillar, a little bit of glue on the pom-pom, a little bit of glue on the clothes or on the <laughs> pipe cleaner, add it on there and give it a squish, count to 15 or 20, and maybe even let it dry overnight. Once the pom-pom and the pipe cleaner are glued together, you can add your eyes, either googly eyes or again, draw on with a marker, and you've made yourself a little worm on a stick or a caterpillar on a stick, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Our last buggy craft today is our arachnid friend, our spider. And for our spider, you're going to need um, a cardboard egg carton. And for this one, I just, I cut one of the egg cups loose and I painted my egg cup black, but you can paint your egg cup whatever color you want. Or if you don't have paint, you can decorate it with markers or stickers or glitter, whatever you have at home to decorate. You can also use some googly eyes for your spider. Or again, if you don't have googly eyes, just draw eyes on. Some spiders have more than two eyes. You can have like eight eyes for your spider. Oh, and we also are going to need pipe cleaners for our legs. I took four pipe cleaners and just cut them in half to make sure that I had eight legs because that's how many legs our spider is going to have. Now, with mom or dad's help, you're going to want to take something pokey. I used a small screwdriver and I just poked small holes along the edge of my cardboard cup here. And you're gonna poke four more holes on the other side. And those holes are where you're going to add your pipe cleaner legs to your spider body. So again, ask for mom or dad's help to make those holes. And then you can add in all of your spider legs. And that is one, two, three, four. And then you would poke holes on the other side and add the rest of your legs, five, six, seven, eight. Add your eyeballs or any other decorations that you want and you've made yourself a cardboard spider friend. Want to learn more about bugs? Visit epl.ca, digital content, kids online resources, and scroll down to National Geographic 
kids. You will need your library card and PIN number to access this free resource. Ask your parent or guardian if you're not sure what it is. Once you're there, you can search bugs to see what kind of buggy videos, magazines, and more you can discover. All free with your library card. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check out epl.ca slash summer starts for more fun activities. While you're there, remember to track your reading minutes. Your weekly submission counts as one entry into our grand prize draw. You can also try finding our this year's mascot, Turtle Swift, um, and that'll enter you to win a chance to win a free book. Thank you for joining me today and make sure you check back for more summer starts at EPL fun. Bye. Remember, share your creations with us at hashtag SummerStartsEPL.